if I was to buy a bunch of the big ones, would you do me a deal? Yes, I would. Would that be okay? Yes. Thank you. So if I sort of set some aside, I'm nervous to touch them. <laughs> you guys and welcome back to another yard sailing video it is officially the end of september when i am recording this it is one of the last yard sale saturdays that i will have you may have noticed recently that i've gone to a few less videos per week that's simply because i'm staggering them across the cold dark winter of no yard sales but stay tuned there's plenty more content to come and of course when spring rolls around everything will ramp back up again anyway before we go out and hit the sales today let me give a big shout out to today's video sponsor today's yard sailing video is sponsored by Vin do. I'm sure you've heard me mention them a million times at this point. That is because I absolutely love their product and I've really enjoyed working with them and I pay for it out of pocket every single month myself because I find it so useful to my business. That's why I'm comfortable recommending them to you and super exciting. They actually have a brand new feature now. Now on your dashboard, you actually have a multi-action tool. This is useful for so many different reasons, especially because they have a multi-delist and relist, a multi-delete feature. So uh, instead of having to go through each individual one and select them, you you can do that in a much more time efficient way. You can also now export a CSV file of all of your inventory. Again, this is something that you can filter by date. So if you did want to download all of your inventory, you can look at specific date ranges, anything that you need basically that you may need to input into a spreadsheet for say taxes or just other inventory tracking purposes. I for one love the fact that that will consolidate all of my inventory into one specific place. I personally sell on four different platforms. So having like a central hub, Vendu, and being able to track and export all of that information from just one central place is going to be really, really valuable to me as it gets towards the end of the year and I start looking at what I've listed and what I've sold. As usual, I also also recommend the import feature just because I always start on eBay, import all that information and push it out to all of the other platforms to cross post all of my listings across as many places as possible, get as many eyes on them and especially around this time of year, fourth quarter, try and sell them as fast as possible. If you're interested in finding out if Vendu could help you with your reselling business, cross posting more things, get getting things sold way more quickly, then don't forget to check out the link down below. It is an affiliate link, but it does give you a pretty sweet deal of 25% off your very first month. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's go yard sailing. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Where are you from? England. I have phone case, I have watch band. Oh, really? Cool. <laughs> Really? That's awesome. Yeah, I lived there for three years. So. Oh, whereabouts? Um, Lake and Heath. I don't think I know where that is. Um, about 40, 40 50 minutes north east yeah. of London. You got somebody from England. <laughs> that's fun. How much are you asking for your golf clubs? Ten dollars for all. Ten dollars, okay, cool. Good beat up. Right. I'll grab the golf clubs if that's okay. I'm just gonna keep looking. <laughs> Do you want me to bring them up or are they okay there? No, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, okay. I use those for laundry and a uh, fabric softener, so you can't, yeah, so you can't drink out of them. I tried washing them, but they still have the smell of both. <laughs> I'm going to do $5 a piece.
whole bunch of scrubs. Oh, cool. How much are your shoes? I'm going to do $3 for those. Okay, awesome. Thank you. if I put these down is that okay yeah. thank That's you fine. your Christmas pieces are? Um, I'm going to do the, the little village houses mm -hmm. for $3 a piece. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the bigger ones closer to maybe 10 Okay. Okay. Thank you. I had my ordered all that stuff years ago. Oh, did she? They, some of them take batteries. That's cool. Do you know if they work by chance? Uh, they did before they got packed up. Gotcha. I think she ordered all that stuff off of, well the village came from um, Walmart and stuff like that. Yeah. That stuff right there came from Bradford Exchange. Like these ones? Yeah. Gotcha. They're beautiful. Yeah, I just don't have the room for them. I know it. <laughs> Yeah. Those other ones, I don't know what I can say. Gotcha. If I was to buy a bunch of the big ones, would you do me a deal? Yes, I would. Would that be okay? Yes. Thank you. So if I sort of set some aside, I'm nervous to touch them. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let me see if I can put this guy away. <laughs> it's cool, it's heavy. Uh, it might have been from Rackford Exchange. Gotcha. How about the Coca Cola one? Do you know if that was? I think it came from Rackford Exchange. Okay. I think that one goes on top of this one. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. 
All right, one, three. All right, I ended up with six. Thank you, that is awesome. All right, so I owe you 40, 50, and then whatever I have down there as well. Okay, well, 10 of that, we'll go to Harvard. Okay, cool. I added two of the smaller ones on as well, so an extra six, I think, that would be. Yeah, those are all from Bradford Exchange. Too. Oh, are they? Yeah, it's. Train. Do you mind if I look? Is That's that okay? Fine. It's train stuff. Oh, cool. Is it all of the train? Something to do with trains. Yeah. Gotcha. I think they're uh, the military. Oh yeah. Some of them. Uh, I yeah. think it might be. Oh, we've got one mixed up in there. <laughs> oh no, it's a train station. Okay, so we just go with it. Yeah. How much would you want for the whole train thing, just in case? I do 15. 15? Okay, that that'll work. Do what? The camouflage coat. $5, it's brand new. I'm gonna give you that for the golf clubs okay. before I forget. And then I'm gonna take them to the car if that's okay. So I think we were at 46. Yes. And then 15 and whatever was down there beside you. Okay. Perfect, thank you. All right, it is all of these like stop in here, and then we have train sets okay, as so well. Here, yeah, there. thank you, honey. I sure yeah. do. <laughs> One, two, three, two. Okay, I have 80 there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How much is this little train set that's over here as well in the box? Um, I'll do five for that one. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm just give you five right back then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I see that. That's cool. It's a good size. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got some stuff up by them, but I'll grab that. <clears throat> Thank you. I owe you for one more hat. What do I owe you? For what? For a hat, sorry. That's your oh, hat. Thanks. Make it easy. Thank you very You're much. Okay. All right, this might take me a second. <laughs> You're ready for Christmas now. I sure am. No kidding. <laughs> you want a bag for those cups? Uh, no, I think I'm okay, but thank you. I appreciate it.
right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So we are, as usual, in my garage. I'm inundated right now. And then I bought all of this today and it's just made everything so much worse. Um, so I'm going to do my absolute best today to show you everything that I bought. I spent a total of $100 at this yard sale. And I actually went back, I think it was three separate times, which is a little bit embarrassing, a bit awkward. But I just kept finding stuff and I went and grabbed some more money and came back and did a little bit more shopping. Um, unfortunately, I did not get the last two sort of short trips on camera I think I was just in the zone and I totally forgot to turn it on I'm really really sorry I only picked up a handful of things but I will show you those in this haul uh, so at least you won't miss out on seeing exactly what I grabbed okay so like I said a hundred dollars total um let's just like start over here as you can see I'm up on my feet because this is piled so high um so we have some junior golf clubs here Ram not super sure about the brand but I did look it up while I was there I spent a total of ten dollars on this whole thing and there's one one, two, three, four, five. There's a total of five clubs in here. And of course, there is the golf bag as well. So it needs a little bit of like a wipe down, but there's no damage. Um, so I may try and sell these locally. I'm not too sure yet, but the comps are pretty good. So for $10, I did snag those. Okay, next we're going to pop down here. Um, I got one pair of shoes from there, just a pair of dance goes, but with a little bit of Doc Martin Wonder Balm. These are going to be in great shape. Um, overall, they have no dry rot or anything like that. I did the twist test, which is where you take the shoe and you twist it in opposite directions to make sure you have no cracking on the sole because dance goes if not stored properly do crack just a little tip okay i have a wooden armadillo i have no idea i've just never seen one before <laughs> and it's really heavy it appears to be hand carved and i am pretty certain there is someone in the world who wants this uh for their decor i might even want it for my summer decor i haven't decided yet um but i snagged him for a buck because i just literally have never seen one before and i thought it was cool i got a few tiki mugs as well again i'm sorry we're in my garage like this is we are doing our best at this point it's the end of the season and uh, i'm out of space um so three are are the same one hawaiian in orchids of hawaii japan um not super familiar but again they were super cheap so i grabbed them so there's a set of three there i'm sure plenty of people know some vintage tiki will do amazing some is just a dime a dozen this is probably a dime a dozen but when it's cheap i usually grab it and look it up later and then i have this larger guy as well also hawaiian in and this one says daytona beach florida all right i'm gonna surprise you now uh because i surprised myself so i saw these as i was leaving the yard sale and as i was leaving the neighborhood I looked them up on my phone, which is totally a no-no. Should have looked them up at the yard sale, right? Um, and it turns out the comps for these are really, really good. I would have thought that these were one of those things um, that you just you wouldn't touch with a barge pole basically for reselling and apparently not true the comps are a little all over the place but some were really really strong and since they had two of them and they were so cheap i did grab them and they're both music boxes heart of the ocean obviously they are titanic themed they're identical no chips or anything they're by the brand Ardley Elliot. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's called My Heart Will Go On. It's a music box, like I said. Yeah, I'll put the comps on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about, but I was thrilled to find two. This particular one was not as good, but it was the same brand. And so I went ahead and grabbed it again for like a dollar or so. Um, it is a music box as well, just rather than leave it behind and realize I should have grabbed it. I thought I'd put it in my pile, but probably like $15 or so for this. Again, this one is a music box. Okay, let's try and get through all the stuff that isn't in the styrofoam and then I'll, I'll work on this this for you um down here well first of all i have a vintage sweatshirt it does need to go through the wash but otherwise it is in good shape it is uh the packers and um, like i said it is vintage not like super crazy vintage but probably from the 90s made in the usa it's football season um i'll wash it up take a photograph that should sell really quickly all right this is another thing i grabbed actually this was kind of an interesting interaction and i wish i had got this on camera for you guys just because it was you know one of those yard sale things that sometimes makes me cringe a little bit and um, the woman saw me looking at this and she told me oh that's three dollars um, so I went ahead and grabbed it um, without looking at comps and stuff. And when I went to go pay, she was like, yeah, I'm going to charge you $5 for that. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, yeah, you know, it's new in the box and I haven't had a chance to look it up yet. So we're going to go with five. Um, I still wanted to buy it. I still think there's plenty of value in this. In fact, I can't find the green one anywhere, but um, the yellow version of this, it's a baseball card collecting kit, by the way, and it is new and sealed. Um, went for, I think, $99.99. So 
seeing as there's none other that exactly like this listed, I was always going to pick it up for five bucks, but it was just kind of a weird interaction. You know, she like literally upped the price on me when I went to pay, and <laughs> that doesn't happen that often, but still happy to pay it, just, you know, a little bit of an odd one. All right, let's get down here real quick. So I ended up going back and picking up a bunch of other stuff. In case you didn't catch it in the video, all of this stuff in the styrofoam is from Bradford Exchange, which can be sometimes hit or miss, but when it's a hit, it's like a really good hit. Um, and the price were really reasonable she originally told me ten dollars for all the big pieces and like three to five dollars for all the small pieces and um, i asked her if she'd make me a deal if i bought like basically all of the big pieces i left one behind because it was broken um but i ended up getting six for forty dollars so obviously she gave me a decent discount um and then when i went ahead and was looking at the tables when i went back for the titanic stuff down here um there's a couple of little scuffs but that's okay um but this was all also bradford exchange um thomas kincaid stuff as well i looked some of it up and it's doing great so this is the garden of prayer again i'll put comps up on the screen just to show you guys exactly what i'm looking at and um, but i grabbed this one. Oh, i found this randomly sat on a table so uh, super brothers 2 for nintendo 3ds just for 50 cents always going to grab that all day long easy enough to list and ship um, I grabbed a couple of Limax things, or Limax, however you want to say. Their Halloween stuff is what you really want to look for. The Christmas stuff, not so much. Um, but this is like a little... Oh, it's hard to show you guys without taking everything apart. I knew this was going to be difficult. It's like a little sleigh ride in there. I think there's a picture. Yep, that would have helped. So a horse and sleigh. Um, again, these were super cheap, and she made me a huge bulk deal. Um, this one is not the wooden footbridge. It is a bunch of little pieces, but it's like a bunch of... Um, some of them are like walmart things that i won't sell but some of them again are like the bradford exchange people like the thomas kincaid ones um, and then there's some lee mac stuff as well like little fire hydrants and just like little accessories so i'll just lock those up and sell them together that's easy enough to do i got a couple of hats this one was uh i wasn't sure about this so walker texas ranger cast and crew hat and um, it just needs to be cleaned up but the last ones that sold one sold for best offer uh was 59.99 they took a best offer and one sold for i think 39.99 something along those lines so worth grabbing for 50 cents in fact i think she charged me a dollar for this i think this lady <laughs> I think, I think she, I don't know. I don't know what happened to this yard sale. I should have paid closer attention. Oh, well, all's well that ends well. And obviously I'd be making some profit and I'm happy to pay the prices. It's just one of those funny old things at a yard sale. And then there's a couple of vintage hats obviously need to go through the wash. Like they're a mess. Um, but I figured for 50 cents a piece or so, uh, they were worth grabbing and putting through the washing machine to see if they can come back to life just a little bit. Like I said, both vintage. I also grabbed these when I went back that last time. Um, so there's a little set of three here. Again, I'll put comps up for you. These are all uh, Bradford Exchange again, um, Thomas Kincaid piece. Well, these, I don't know if this is Thomas Kincaid. Yes, it is. Just just kidding. Um, so it's the Sweet Tea Ornament Collection. So we have um, this little like sleeping snowman with Silent Night. This one here says the night before Christmas. And then these two are having like a little cup of cocoa or whatever together. It says blessings of Christmas. So I will sell those all three together as a set. Next, I grabbed a bunch of the angels. The angels really seem to be hit or miss. Most of them do have their names so I can look them up. Um, but some of them don't. And that's really frustrating. So I'll have to do some research. One of them, unfortunately, does have a little bit of damage i'm trying to remember which one. Oh, it's this one here i think she has like a little chip at the front uh so she may not end up being sold um so these are three alike and those are three alike at the back i may do these locally or i may just list them as like little sets all right and then i have this thomas kincaid piece as well unfortunately it is broken i did totally overlook that the leaf on the end there is broken it was the reflections of harvest season and it does light up it's really really cool inside full glass pumpkin going to be horrendous to ship i know know um but again the comps are looking really promising and it was just a couple of bucks um so even though it's broken i may just put it up on auction because of the time of year and see what happens all right and now we're at the styrofoam so bear with me as i try to show you each piece i'm not going to take them all out because it would just take me forever to do but i will try and show you each piece so again bear in mind all bradford exchange pieces and most of them are thomas kincaid as well so the night before christmas we have santa in his sleigh with all of his reindeer does not appear to have any breakage does come with the um battery pack or whatever it is that's going to make this bad boy light up okay next we have this santa guy you probably saw him in the video i was checking him out with all of his snowflakes at the front again i'm not entirely sure of the name but i have looked them up for you guys to be able to put the comps up so you'll see a picture of it uh, on the screen i should hope 
he is again he's really really huge these are really big pieces all right next this one is most likely going to make all of my money back for everything that i bought here which means i'm going to have so much pure profit from this which i'm really really grateful for and um, so this is a limited edition 125th anniversary coca-cola bradford exchange uh set basically like a christmas set it's pretty much new in the box like it has nowhere whatsoever to it um and this is going i think for around 125 or so again this is the perfect time of year to get going and get all of this stuff listed a SAP. Oh, I did find one of these um, Lee Max Village Collectibles, the Village Express train system. Um, again, this looks like, I think it's been opened. I think it's been opened, but it looks like it's never been taken out. I'll have to open it up and do some investigation. Um, but again, this is one that looked like it had really promising comps. All right, this one is insane. Um, so this is a, it's, I think it's the night before, I can't remember what it's called now, but it basically, the whole thing lights up and then it tells you the poem of the night before Christmas. Um, I haven't tested it out fully yet. I do know that, that it works. Again, this thing is absolutely huge. It's beautiful. I don't see any damage absolute bargain for the price and i'm hoping to get a pretty good amount of money for this too all right this one is upside down but it is like a christmas candle like a um sort of city within a christmas candle and it all lights up and all that good stuff this one wasn't doing as well um but it should still bring a decent amount of profit just not as much as the others all right this one is Oh, like a Santa train track ones. I don't think I could find any exact comps for this one, which actually is always pretty much encouraging to me. Um, so I'll show you whatever I could find on the screen. Um, but if I can't find any exact comps or anything listed like him, I may go ahead and list him a little bit higher. All right, then we have some pretty interesting pieces. We have some um, POWMIA uh, military style train tracks again this is all bradford exchange and i've never seen anything exactly like it there wasn't a lot to go on comps either but it was so unusual um i decided to grab those as well we got those we got a few different pieces here we have a train station that supposedly goes with that i'm not convinced that it does but i will look that up separately a few more train track pieces here that i'll lot up together with it all and lastly a few more train pieces there as well again i'll do a really big lot i think oh okay so that is everything that i bought from this one yard sale as you can imagine that took up a decent amount of my time that morning um and i ended up having to make a trip home to empty the car uh, so i could refill it at more yard sales as usual you guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you you're new here and you like yard sales and flipping stuff online for a profit then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification as well so you can come back and yard sell with me some more as usual if you're looking for a friendly facebook group to ask all your reseller questions you can check out mine link down below in the description thrift nice and lastly if you're on the hunt for any fun reselling or thrifting themed merchandise you can check out my teespring store link down below as well all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye